Welcome back to Hannity. So during his press conference today, President-elect Trump, he took aim at CNN and BuzzFeed for covering an unverified story about Mr. Trump and his alleged ties to Russia in the report posted on BuzzFeed. It claims that Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohn, met with Kremlin representatives in Prague in August of 2016. One small little itsy-bitsy problem, Michael Cohn has never been to Prague, ever. Here's what the president-elect had to say about this earlier today. As far as BuzzFeed, which is a failing pile of garbage, writing it, I think they're going to suffer the consequences. They already are. And as far as CNN going out of their way to build it up, and by the way, we just found out I was coming down, Michael Cohn, I was being, Michael Cohn is a very talented lawyer, he's a good lawyer in my firm. It was just reported that it wasn't this Michael Cohn they were talking about. So all night long, it's Michael Cohn. I said, I want to see your passport. He brings his passport to my office. I say, hey, wait a minute, he didn't leave the country. He wasn't out of the country. They had Michael Cohn of the Trump Organization was in Prague. It turned out to be a different Michael Cohn. It's a disgrace what took place. It's a disgrace. And I think they ought to apologize to start with Michael Cohn. And earlier today, I spoke with Michael Cohn all about this, and he said this. And joining us now, Executive Vice President and Special Counsel to Donald Trump, Michael Cohn is with us. How are you, sir? Sean, how are you? Oh, no, wait a minute. Am I allowed to look at this? Is the past? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't want to joke about it because it's serious in your life. But it's very serious. This is in the my passport. Life. Yes, it is. Okay, you. You, you're watching this unfold. I got a text from a friend of mine. Are you watching CNN? They're going insane. And then this whole thing unfolds. You're dragged into it all through the night last night. You, you're, you're a private guy. We're friends, but I know you. This is not comfortable for you. It's not comfortable, but I'm okay with it personally okay. because it benefits Mr. Trump, and I'll do anything to protect Mr. Trump, the family, now Vice President-elect Pence, um, as well as the campaign. So I'm okay with it personally. The problem is that it affected my family, it affected my wife, my in-laws, my children, and that's not okay. And I believe CNN and BuzzFeed and others owe them a serious apology. You know, there's an old expression, where do you go to get your reputation well, that's back? That's Ray, Ray uh, what was his name? Ray Donovan in the, in the Reagan administration. You know where you have to go? To a Donald Trump press release. <laughs> yeah, that was, <laughs> because, that was pretty amazing. Let, let me tell you, thank you to Mr. Trump for what he did, because without his help, who would have ever thought that there could be two Michael Cohens in this world? <laughs> oh, impossible. impossible. I've never heard that name before. One of my best friends growing up, Michael Cohen, and, and you're one of my better friends in life. I've known you for a long time. Your name did come up in the press conference. Let's go back to yesterday. You got called by? Mr. Trump. And Mr. Trump asked you? Were you ever in Prague? And your answer was? Never. In your whole life? I, no. I've, I've never been in Prague. And he wanted to see your passport. So he said, Michael, I really need to know. I said, Mr. Trump, I have never been to Prague. He mm. said to me, okay. I said, do you would want to see my passport? I live close to the office. Right. And he said, yeah, you mind if I see it? And I said, of course not. <laughs> I said, you're the president-elect. Uh, I'll be there in about two minutes. Right. Put on. I don't mean to laugh, but it's just these, yeah. these people. I, I did an opening monologue just in the last segment, how journalism is dead. It's buried. And fake news, you, last night I retweeted your tweet with Thank the you. passport. And Thank you know what people started writing me? I got me? so many people that hate me. <laughs> so, thanks a lot, Michael. But you know what people are saying? Well, it's not opened. Right. Well, 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 hold on a second. With, with all due respect to those haters, do you really think I was going to open up the passport and allow them to see my ID number? Next thing I know, I'll be at the airport trying to leave the country for whatever the reason might be. And right. what will happen, somebody will have already duplicated it with my ID. I've been subject of, um, of personal attacks. Um, and the last thing I need is to have somebody with my passport number on top of everything else. You and I had a discussion last week. And I said these words to you. I said, the media and the left want to destroy Donald Trump. What he is doing, if he's able to fulfill his agenda, he's opening up the raw nerve in D.C. And that means the media establishment, the Democratic establishment, and even the Republican establishment. Right. And when he talks about draining the swamp and he talks about fundamental core changes to government, this threatens who they are. 
and what they have done and the way they have done it all of these years. And their goal is to malign a very good man, a man who I truly believe will go down in history if they leave him alone as the best president. Michael, they're not going to leave him alone. History. Well, I'm going to do whatever it is that I can do to ensure that they leave him alone. He's a good man, and so is um, Vice President-elect Pence. They're a great team together. They're going to do exactly what they say. They're going to strengthen the military. They're going to secure our borders. They're going to create jobs. If he Mr. keeps Trump all of his promises in that agenda, he, he will go down as a great president. Let me, let me go back, though. This is important. So you show him the passport, and you were in Los Angeles. Now, I'll give a little, I have to give a little insight here. Your son, you, by the way, you know I was in Los Angeles. I know because you were sending me. That's you, no, right. you sent me video. Your son is a top major league baseball pitching recruit, and I've seen videos of this kid. He throws 98 miles an That's hour. That's not 90. 95. It into the okay, low, to me it's 98. But I wouldn't want to catch it. I wouldn't want to catch it either. And don't forget, he's you, only a junior. And in high I knew school. you were out there because we looked at the time frame and we went over this yesterday. <laughs> You were out with your son. How am I supposed to argue when I'm telling you that this is where I was at? Yeah. Right? They're claiming, oh, no, no, you weren't there. And I said, yes, I was. I was there. I was in Los Angeles. Well, why were you there? What's the difference why I was there? I'm telling you, I was not in Prague. They okay. claim that they have photos of me with some... Russian government people I said, produce Russian the government? photos. Do you have any, did you see any hookers while you were in Prague? I've never been to Prague and I've never been to Russia. All right, last serious question. With all the collusion of WikiLeaks in the media and the fawning coverage as I discussed in the last segment of Obama and this horrible treatment of Donald Trump today at the press, the president-elect today, um, I think this is just a preview of coming attractions. What do you, how do you analyze this and what is the best strategy for the administration, incoming administration to take? It's a very tough question because you don't know where it's coming from and you don't know who's lobbying these attacks against him. Fortunately, Mr. Trump has a significant number of people. I'd like to keep myself in that little circle of extremely loyal people. He does. And we will do what it's necessary to protect him and the, pres and the office of the presidency. On top of that, this man has assembled with the entire team a significant group of incredible people who will help him in order to get his um, agenda accomplished, including yeah. Ivanka and Jared, who are going to play key role well, in, trying to helping, attack them too. in helping him. And I'm afraid that they will look try they, to look attack him. what they did to him. Ivanka when she wore a bracelet on 60 Minutes it's and, so and somebody wrong. that works for her tweeted it out. It's so wrong on so many levels. I mean, we don't say things like this at the Golden Globe Awards no. where they attack, you know, the president.